Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Brenner, and today I'd like to talk to you about a procedure we do in our office called a colposcopy. And a colposcopy is something that is used to evaluate the cervixes of women who may be having bleeding after intercourse, something called postcoital bleeding, or more commonly after an abnormal pap smear is found. So during a colposcopy, a woman comes into our office and we put a speculum into their vagina. And then I use this machine, this is the colposcope, and I look through this and it lets me see the entire cervix and it magnifies the cervix, letting me see deeper than that first layer of cells that was sampled with a pap smear. And then some acetic acid is applied to the cervix or vinegar water. And this acetic acid then helps distinguish between the abnormal cells of the cervix and the normal cells of the cervix. So as a physician doing a colposcope, the acetic acid um, along with the colp colposcope lets me delineate the normal from abnormal areas. If any abnormal areas are seen, typically a physician usually performs a biopsy and then that biopsy is sent off to the lab and the pathologist will look at it underneath a microscope, giving us a definitive diagnosis of what's going on with the cervix. During the procedure, during the biopsy, or even an endocervical curatage, a patient may experience some mild cramping for a few minutes. After the procedure, patients may experience some spotting, or even some black brown discharge from the medication that we use um, to stop the bleeding where the biopsy occurred. Most patients can return uh, to normal activities immediately after they leave our office. Once in a great while, somebody may have some cramping for the rest of that day. Other than that, um, this is a very simple procedure uh, and we obtain the results of the biopsy in about seven to 10 days.